we now have a working version of TWRP as a custom recovery for both the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. So today I'm going to show you how to install TWRP on Google's new Pixel phones. Now to do this we're going to need to have some things done ahead of time. You're going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your computer. And you're going to need that so that you can unlock the bootloader of the Pixel 2 or the Pixel 2 XL. Now unless there is a vulnerability that allows you to do this on the Verizon model, this will only work on the ones that allow the bootloader to be unlocked. If you need any help on any of those tips or any of the other steps involved in this guide, be sure to check the full tutorial as I have very easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions detailed in the article. So once you have all of that done and have the bootloader unlocked, you're going to need to download two files which will be linked in the full tutorial. One will be an IMG file and the other will be a zip file. So we're going to rename both of those to TWRP, so that'll be TWRP.IMG and TWRP.ZIP. We're going to move the zip file onto the Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL. And then we're going to open up a command prompt. Once that command prompt is open up, we're going to power off the Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL. And then we're going to boot the device up into fast boot mode. Once the phone is in fast boot mode, we can then connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable. And then we're going to turn our attention to the command prompt. So as I mentioned, you're going to need to have two files downloaded from the TWRP website. One is the image file and the other is the zip file. The zip file is what we moved to the internal storage of the Pixel 2. And then once that is done, we're going to need to open up a command prompt in the same directory as this TWRP image file. And this needs to be in the same directory as your ADB and Fastboot tools are located in. So we can then open up either a command prompt or PowerShell in that directory. We're just going to type out the command Fastboot space boot space and then the name of the image file, which is twrp.img. Now, if you chose to not rename this file, that file name will be longer. You'll need to type it out or click and drag it into the command prompt or the PowerShell. And then once we do that, we're going to press enter on the keyboard. And that's going to temporarily boot our Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL into TWRP. So just go ahead and press enter. And as soon as you press enter on the keyboard, you're going to see your phone reboot. And again, it's going to temporarily boot us into TWRP. If you're prompted for the pin password or pattern, go ahead and enter it. And then if this is your first time, you're likely going to be asked if you want to keep TWRP permanent by swiping or keep it read only by tapping a button. If you're doing a systemless install of root, then do not keep it, then do not write it and make it permanent. Keep it read only but if you're going to permanently install twrp which is what we're going to do today you can swipe 
to tell TWRP to install permanently. Once we get to the TWRP main menu, we're just going to tap on the install button. It's going to first show this directory. And we just need to browse to wherever we have the TWRP zip file. Since I moved it to the internal storage, of the, which is the download folder, I'm going to find that zip file there. Go ahead and tap on the zip file no matter where it's at. And then swipe the white arrows to the right to confirm the installation. This is going to install TWRP on the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL on both slots since the Pixel phones use the dual slot partitioning system. And once that's done, we can just go ahead and press the home button if we want to do anything else from TWRP. If not, we can just go ahead and press the reboot system button. And here it's going to ask us if we want to install TWRP application as a system application or if we just want to install it regularly. It's up to you what you do here. It just offers you a way to update TWRP on your device. And we can actually go ahead and unplug this USB cable. Once you temporarily boot into TWRP, you can go ahead and remove the cable. And you can see we're booted right into Android, just like normal. So now whenever we boot into recovery mode, which again, I show you how to do this in the full tutorial for those who are not aware of how to do this.